Right, so hey everyone, and no, this is way, I'm way too high up, aren't I? I'm gonna bring you down a bit more. There we go. And then I'm gonna come down, there we go. Right, let's get to the intro, shall we? Right, so hey everyone, and welcome back to another budget photography video. So, in today, no, not in today's video. Right, so hey everyone and welcome back to another budget photography video. So, event photography is where I kind of became a photographer, so to speak. I've done events for as long as I can remember as a photographer. But I've never really covered what I actually carry on here anyway as an event photographer. I carry quite, quite a lot of things and I am actually thinking about, you know streamlining my bag of what I carry because I do carry a lot although it does vary from you know event to event sometimes I'll carry this thing but in other events I won't carry that thing and but this is kind of in general what I carry as an event photographer first of all is my cameras the cameras that I carry for video I carry the 700d because of the continuous autofocus sometimes I will use my other camera the 5d mark ii but this this is primarily for pictures now I have actually kind of retired this camera purely because I actually <laughs> I had a screw stuck one of the screws were got stuck in the bottom of the in the bottom of the camera so I carry the 5D Mark II as a picture camera and then the 700D usually does some video sometimes they interchange between the two all depending on what I need when I need it and so lenses I carry three lenses I carry the 18 to 55 here the 24 to 105 right here. This is a really nice general all round lens. And then the 50 1.8. And I must say, this is a beautiful lens. I love the 50 1.8. Now there are some problems with it, but in general, the 50 1.8 is a really, really good, really good lens. Like it, it's really small, it's cheap, the optics are pretty good. The only downside to the 50mm 1.8 is the fact that there's no stabilization. But it is only a £100 lens, even brand new from Canon, so what do you expect? So because I now do video as well as pictures, I now carry a ND filter for both my lenses. I carry a variable ND for the 24 to 105 and I carry four ND filters from newer for the 18 to 55. These aren't the best ND filters. I don't really like using them, but if I have to in a pinch, then I will. This one is a little bit better. I've done a review on both of these. Go check them out. I've done a review on most of this equipment, to be fair. And then there's batteries. I hate batteries. I carry two to three batteries per camera. Now, I usually find it quite hard to go through the batteries for the 5D Mark II, especially when I'm just taking pictures. Usually, in one day, I will just use one battery, and then that's about it. But I obviously carry two or three more in case I go through them. Now, because the 700D that I'm filming on right now usually is doing some video, I usually do burn through more batteries. So, yeah, it, it, it's a good idea to carry batteries speaking of batteries i actually carry two batteries for my two phones i carry this big one that usually does my galaxy phone and then i carry this one as well this one does my iphone 12. this is a battery case it's a little bit worse for wear in the middle just there i i don't usually use this case unless i absolutely have to especially when i'm on a long day shoot then the iphone 12 battery is pretty damn small and it does need to be recharged so but that's to be expected, especially with like a 1400 milliamp hour battery. So, so and then going on to my phones, I use the iPhone 12 mini as my primary device. And then my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra as kind of a backup device. I use this more for TikTok than this one because this battery lasts longer. I also do prefer the camera on this one. I'm sorry, Samsung fans. It's just my preference. I just prefer the one on this one. I think for video... It looks better. It just does to me. You can disagree. Please don't start a damn war in the comments. But it's just how I feel about the products. This does have a really, really nice camera. Don't get me wrong. But I just prefer this one for video. So, and then storing all of that information is these. I hate these. These are, these are SD cards. I, 
I hate SD cards. They they are the bane of my life and I lose them every other week. I'm surprised I've actually got an SD card for the camera right now. But it is really important to have multiple SD cards, especially when you're doing something like what I do. Because cards can get corrupted, they can just fail on you for some reason or... Anything can happen while you're out shooting. So having numerous cards of about 30 to 128 gigabytes is a really good idea. I've got a couple of 4 gigabytes and a couple of 8 gigabytes there as well, but I don't really use them much. Speaking of SD cards, the one thing that is important is one of these. This is an adapter, a USB-C adapter. This takes CF cards, this takes SD, this takes micro SD. This is so good. So good. One of the best products I've actually ever brought from Amazon. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree, actually. Yeah, this is one of the best products I've ever brought from Amazon. Now, for Amazon. me to be able to back my files up, I need a device. Now, yeah, I could use my Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, or I could just use the iPad Pro, which I do carry. Usually in my backpack, or... Yeah, usually in my backpack, actually. I love my iPad Pro. It's probably one of my favorite devices I've ever purchased. This is just... It's just, it's just my baby. It, it just is. It's so nice to be able to use. It does everything that I need it to. Now, yeah, I'm sure that there are other devices out there that could maybe do better things out there. That could maybe do better things. But that's not really the case for me. This does what I need it to do at the price range that I was happy to spend. Now, going back to storage. Because the iPad Pro only has so much storage i need to be able to now because the ipad pro only has so much storage it can fill up it can it, it, it has happened so the best advice i can give is to carry one of these i've done a video on this this is a sandisk ssd extreme i've recently done a video on this and it's so good it has really fast speeds it just it's ip50 x or x5 or something like that 54 that was it ipx no i'm gonna get this right in a minute ip54 rated which means it's drop resistant it's dust resistant it's you know it's water resistant but that's hence on the resistance we're really going on the resistance here it's not waterproof it is water resistant please google what ip54 actually is check out my video on the drive now, because I do actually use my mobile phones for filming while I'm out, I do need one of these. This is a DJI Osmo Gimbal. This holds both of my phones, not at the same time, and it makes really, really smooth footage. This doesn't really have a downside, apart from the app, actually. The DJI Osmo app, for me, is really bad and needs to be improved drastically. Like drastically, drastically. But the controls on the device itself are really nice to use. They're really easy to, you know, navigate and get your, you know, reach it with all your fingers. You've got little zoom toggles just here. You've got a little thingy to, to move this around and just little dials that all just work really, really nicely. Again, I've done a video on this. Go check it out. Now, this next thing I haven't actually used in a very, very long time. I think I've used it twice in the last like three years primarily because of covid but ah that's this the newer i don't know what it's actually called but it's a glide cam it's kind of like a gimbal it helps me to keep steady footage while i'm walking around all i have to do is put my camera there i have to then stabilize it it's got all these little weights at the bottom here it can extend and oh, make itself bigger and yeah I picked this one up really, really cheaply because I needed it for a project. And I ended up using it more than I thought I would. But then I stopped using it because COVID and some other things that had happened. And it's kind of been sat in the cupboard for the last two years. I've not even done a review on it. Because I just forgot about it, to be fair. But I am covering some events soon. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video. And I am going to need this. So, tripods and monopods. I do use the... I, I use quite a lot of newer stuff here, apparently. <laughs> the tripod that you guys are currently on. Again, I've done a video on this one. It is a newer movie tripod, I call it. 
It's a professional-ish grade tripod. It's the one that I use for YouTube. I'll be taking that with me as well. I'm sorry I can't get any video footage of it because I'm, well, I'm using it right now. And also I carry one of these. This is a Manfrotto monopod. Monopods are so good for getting different kinds of shots, especially if you want to kind of fake a drone shot because all you've got to do is mount your camera here and then just extend the legs up. I wouldn't really extend the last one, but you can just extend everything up and just walk through a crowd of people and it kind of looks roughly as if you're um flying a drone but it can look better because you can use your bigger camera with a bigger sensor and last but definitely not least is these these are the samsung galaxy earbuds these are <laughs> i love these they're designed by akg or something like that and they just they sit nicely in your ears and I'm a, you know I'm a very antisocial kind of person you know I will talk to people when I have to but I don't really want to and there's a lot of people that events that can disturb me with what I'm doing as well so I have these in it means that I can be at the event I can talk to people on the phone or I can just listen to podcasts or something like that and just concentrate on the work that I'm doing without people disturbing me these are highly, highly underrated. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me in this video and I'll see you in the next one.